Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking, express the following numbers in Cartesian form. Here we have the number in polar form. The first number is, we have two numbers in polar form. So we have to do one by one or you can combine all them, all of them together in one equation. In both ways it will work. Now we have to use Euler's identity to convert this one into this pattern. Then we have to find out what is our Cartesian form or rectangular form. Now let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's look at the first one. Let's say z1 is equal to e power j phi over 4. Okay. Now first we have to see this pattern. Compare with, with this pattern, r is equal to 1 and theta is equal to phi over 4. So if we rearrange this one into this format, we are going to have 1 times cos phi over 4 plus j sine phi over 4. Okay. Cos phi over 4 is what? 1 over root 2. And then sine phi over 4 that's also 1 over root 2 but this is a complex number so j 1 over root 2 so this is our first one now let's look at the second one second one is let's call this one z2 that's equal to 2 e power negative j phi over 4 from this one we can see that r is equal to 2 and the angle theta is equal to negative phi over 4 okay now let's go ahead and plug the values in this pattern this is going to give us 2 and cos theta is going to be what cos negative phi over 4 but when we do these kind of problems we have no one thing when we have a cos and the angle is negative theta that is equivalent to cos theta but when you have an angle sine and uh, if the theta is negative that is equivalent to negative sine theta so this is the thing you have to know in our case here we have negative phi over 4 so we can write positive phi over 4 it's going to be the same thing so we can leave it as positive phi over 4 and then plus j sine negative phi over 4 so instead of putting negative phi over 4 what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert like this negative in front so we are going to have negative right here and then phi over 4 like this okay now let's go ahead and convert this one cos phi over 4 that's 1 over root 2 minus j 1 over root 2 okay and if we multiply both of them by 2, this is going to be 2 over root 2 minus j 2 over root 2. Now all we have to do is add these two together. So final answer is going to be z is equal to z1 plus z2. z1 we found out that is 1 over root 2 plus j times 1 over root 2 plus z2 we found out that is equal to 2 over root 2 minus j 2 over root 2 okay now all we have to do is just add them together here we can add the complex number together and the real part together these two are real part so if we add them together that's going to give us 3 over root 2 and the complex part is j over root 2 and here we have minus j 2 over root 2 so here we have 2 so 2 minus 2 plus 1 that's going to give us minus 1 so minus j over root 2 and this is going to be our final answer for the first one so we are done with the first one now let's look at the second one let's get rid of this okay let's do the second one the second one is e power j plus 1 again we have two numbers z is equal to z1 plus z2 if i say okay let's call z1 z1 is equal to e power j in this one if you compare with this pattern r is equal to 1 theta is equal to 1 so we can plug it in this equation so this is going to be cos 1 1 times cos 1 plus j sine 1 and this is equal to z1 now let's go ahead and calculate this one if you plug this one in the calculator you are going to get 0 0.5403 plus j 0 0.8415 okay this is z1 but you can see this is we only consider this part right now we have to add a 1 right here so z is going to be what z1 plus 1 so z1 we found out that is 0 0.5403 plus j 0 0.8415 plus 1 and that's going to give us 1.5403 plus j 0 
So this is going to be our final answer for the second one. Now let's look at the third one. Let's get rid of this. So this is answer for B part. This is the answer for B part. Okay, we done B part. Now let's get rid of this and do the C part. Okay. Now in the C part, we have 1 over 2 power j. First we have to bring this one into polar form, polar exponential form. Now to do that, first uh, let's bring this one to the top. So 2 power j, if we bring that one to the top, we are going to have 2 power negative j. Okay. So 2 power negative j, let's call this one, okay, let's leave it as it is. So 2 power negative j. That is equal to let's call this one z right z is equal to 2 power negative j now how can we bring this one into this pattern in order to do that we can take ln both sides if i take ln z that's going to be equal to ln of 2 power negative j so when we have ln and the power we can bring this power to the front so in that way ln z is going to be equal to negative j ln 2 okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take exponential so if i but before i do the exponential it's or we can directly take the exponential in that way this ln and exponential cancel this each other and we will get z and here we will get e power if, if i move this j to the front we will have negative ln 2 now we have this pattern we have r e power j theta that's what we want right now let's go ahead and continue right here r is equal to what r is 1 and the theta is going to be whatever the value except j is going to be the theta this is negative ln 2 that's going to be our theta so negative ln 2 is our theta now we can go ahead and convert into Euler's identity this says 1 times cosine negative ln 2 so whenever we have as i discussed before when we have positive negative theta we can replace that one with cos theta. So instead of writing negative, I'm going to write just positive. Cos ln 2 plus then sine j sine theta. So j sine, instead of putting negative ln 2, I can put ln 2 and make this one negative. In that way, it's going to be the same. Now if you calculate this one, you are going to get z is equal to 0 0.769 minus j 0 0.6389 so this is going to be our final solution i hope this helps thanks for watching